Hey guys, um, my name is Maximilian Götz. Um, I'm official uh, works driver for Mercedes AMG in uh, GT racing. Uh, maybe as you, you know, I did 2015-2016 uh, DTM with the Mercedes AMG. And before um, I was uh, yeah, driving in different kind of GT series. And also 2007 I was driving in Blancpain and the uh, ADSC GT Masters. Uh, also 2002 um, I was driving uh, Formula BMW at this time. and. Uh, uh, I was vice champion behind Nico Rosberg in 2003. Um, I was able to win the championship uh, in front of Sebastian Vettel, so four times Formula World champion now. And yeah, 2005 I was um, teammate of uh, Lewis Hamilton, so also first time Formula One, uh, Formula One World champion, which is really uh, cool to 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 got this this chance and um, was really really nice this time. Uh, I have good memories and uh, yeah, so now I'm back in GT racing and uh, keep fingers crossed to having a good uh, 2018 season. So yeah, we actually have prepared something for you now, which is going to be a premiere. A uh, Mercedes AMG, hopefully. Yes. Okay, that's cool. So my actual race car you, you prepared, because I just came up from uh, Nürburgring, driving right. the GT3 on the real track. Mm -hmm. So let's see the comparison. The impression is already really real. It's really good. So the traction is really good as well. The brake behave, how the car is stopping and how the brakes are biting, that's really uh, very similar. And how you touch the curves and how the car gets offset after. That's also really, really uh, similar to the real stuff. The brake points are really similar, so the car is uh, good set up on the brakes. Also the interior, you know, the, the cockpit view, the dash, the, the informations uh, which, which I get here are really, really exactly the same, I would say. So that's really, really cool to have. And also the quick corners like here, the Schumacher S. Um, it's not flat, in, uh, even in, not in qualifying. So you have to lift a little bit to get a good uh, a speed through the corner. Um, this is the corner speeds are really, really good and similar. How the car is jumping over the bumps, it's also really similar, yeah, it's really nice. Last corner here, good acceleration out of it. How are you observing actually racing on simulators in terms of the worldwide growth of, you know, esports? Yeah, the esports is growing every day, and uh, also the, the past shows already uh, some some good racing drivers came out of sim racing, like uh, Nissan guys, and now the actual McLaren test driver and simulator is he did uh, a simulator driving at home, and now he is like part of the Formula One team developing the Formula One cars. So this shows how competitive and how close the real racing is to the simulator racing and opposite. So. This is uh, yeah, very, very close together and uh, in the future uh, a lot of good sim drivers will be also good real race drivers. For sure they have to adapt and you have to learn still on track because there is still something different. But the differences are not so big anymore and uh, I guess when you have an online race could be also that um, the, the sim guys driving against the real guys from racetrack like DTM guys, uh, Formula 1 guys, GT racers um, and having also good races and get some prize money as well out of it. So I guess there's a good platform and a good uh, future 
for this kind of, of, of sport. As we said, as we mentioned, um, I prepare myself before race weekend at home in, in, my, in my flat. And it's, it's nice to get a feeling before you enter the racetrack, really. The, the sound and, and the car handling, is, it's really amazing how close they are. Yeah, I invited friends already to driving worldwide. I was driving uh, against uh, the last week uh, against uh, Adrian Sutil, for example. He did Formula One in, in, in the last years with Force India, and now I'm driving against him in, in free time, uh, sitting in my flat, and he's sitting in his flat, and having a, com a competition, a battle, and this is like uh, something, something special. I changed something now. Uh, let's see how it is, and then I changed also the the anti-roll bar in front. I went a little bit softer. Um, usually we do this also in a race car to get the, the, the front a bit faster in, so more response on the front. Let's see how it feels. Look, I changed the traction control and now it's also a little bit more uh, out of control, I would say. In real racing, we're using the traction control quite a lot. Um, to having the perfect uh, amount of uh, traction out of a corner. You see, the car is much more nervous now in the rear. And I have to be more gentle with the throttle now. So guys, um, after doing some laps now with the new Mercedes AMG GT3 in the race room, uh, was really fun to drive. Just can, can recommend to download this car now and uh, have big fun with that and uh, enjoy the driving time with the Mercedes-AMG GT3.